Ian, it's also been a, a challenging season, but how much of a boost has the trophy run been to, to what's gone on in the league? Yeah, I think uh, the games have come at really good times for us. Uh, I think back to the Oldham away win, I think that gave us a little bit of momentum to to uh, then go back to the league with that good performance um, behind us and seeing Banbury as well. I think when we've had a, a trophy game, we've always went back into the league and, and put a, a couple of good results together or a couple of good performances. So it's been really good for us. It's um, it allowed us to do a little bit of rotation earlier on as well and give boys a chance who hadn't maybe had a chance in the league and they've uh, grasped that opportunity as well. So it's, it's been really good for the for the whole club and for us as a coaching staff as well. It's a story after the game last night. He said that he sensed a little bit of change in the dressing room in the last week. Is that something you noticed as a consistent manager? Yeah, um, I think it's something that we've we've worked on all season. It's always that ingredient that you want to get is that team spirit. I, I generally think that's probably the most important thing to get. Um, Obviously, last year we had it in abundance every single session. This year, at times, if I'm being totally honest, we haven't always had it. So you try and work on it as much as you can. Um, but these last couple of weeks, you've felt a little bit of a change. Uh, we took some boys away with us at the weekend who were injured, who don't normally travel, and they came because they wanted to support the boys. And just little things like that show that everyone's together, um, especially the boys who don't always play, who haven't been in the team. They've been unbelievable, like James and uh, Mags. They're, they're the two sort of leaders in the change room and, and out on the pitch as well. When they're, when they're in the dugout, you can hear them screaming on. And just little things like that, that shows a real good team spirit when boys who aren't getting in still still understand the importance and give you give you that what you need. You've obviously had some big occasions since you've been here. Uh, you know, I think the first round games, was it surely away last season, would it win the league? Where does Saturday rank in that? Um, it's... It's one for the club, it's one for the supporters, isn't it? As a coaching team, as a, as players, you sometimes get bogged down with that. We're in a relegation battle, so you're just totally focused on that all the time. If I'm honest, I haven't thought too much about the, the game. Um, so when it, it does come, it, it sidetracks you a, a little bit. But it's a huge game for the supporters. We're one game off Wembley, 90 minutes. It's a it's a straight shootout. So um, we always say that we we want the community to, to be proud of the club um, and I think occasions like this they, they do that you know it gets that little bit of tension like even a day having you guys here and just little things like that it it promotes the club and, and it, it's better for the community it gives the community that that club to be proud of. You've got a nightmare injuries this season because of that power that we've obviously spread the manager now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so happy now, is he? Um, yeah, obviously, um, if you know Mike, his mentality is just ridiculous. Um, he went down, there was three seconds left of the session, he's went there, pass the ball back and his knees just totally collapsed underneath him, so it's not looking good. I think he's went for a scan today and see, see what the, the damage is, that's why he's not here. Um, but he'll lead us, however, whether that's on the pitch, off the pitch, um, he's an unbelievable manager that we're, we're looking to have at the football club um, and his, his presence will, will be enough to, to see us till the end of end of the season. Obviously we would have needed him tomorrow, even if it was just in the squad or whatever, he's there if you need him. Um, but we're, we're without that, but he'll, he'll lead from the side, so we, we've got no problem with that at all. This last one from me, Jim, you were here last time uh, in the trophy centre, and I know you don't like talking about it, but does the kind of pain of that help going into Saturday? Yeah, 100%, I spoke about that uh, last night. Someone and I just said that was the probably one of the worst moments I've had in a footy pitch. Being so close to a big day for the club. Um, that season we were, I think we were around 16th, 17th, and that was really what our season was uh, gearing towards. Obviously, getting to the semi-final. And I know what it does for the club. So I still remember that. I can always remember the before on my way into the game. I was grabbing a coffee from Costa in Sunderland, and someone's just shouting me, "Oh, good luck today, mate!" Because I have been tracksuit on so. It's it's big for the club, but um, means nothing if we if we don't progress. Yes. Yeah. Monty obviously mentioned that the last time we had the the semi final as well. I mean, you, you mentioned they're not quite in the relegation battle last time, but sort of down towards the bottom end of the season. So the season was kind of almost everyone looking at the the trophies being the, the all or bust, and that once that was out of the way, it was kind of done sort of thing. But but with the league very much still competitive, very much still needing to, to fight for for points in the league. I mean, how is that for you? At the minute, as, as players, in, in terms of trying to focus on obviously the trophy for this game, but then especially with the hectic schedule, you've got having to flip that straight away as soon as that's done. It's just getting into the, the habit of winning. Um, if you look back to, I know people talk about the Oldham and Banbury, um, but we can't forget Gloucester as well. So that was the first competition uh, game in this competition, um, and we really went at it that night and won five 0 and then I think we went on a five or six game unbeaten run after that. And I think that was probably our turning point 
in our season when people start to have that little bit more belief. And we say it every week, winning is a habit. Um, all the top teams do it, they're just in that habit of just winning games, finding a way. Um, we've been doing that recently and hopefully we can do the same on Saturday and then it carries over to the league again. Um, but like I say, just look at each game as it comes and just focus on trying to win. Yeah, and of course you've, you've made yourself known for being a bit of a, a penalty specialist over various spells at the, the club so far. Obviously you saved a couple in the quarter-final as well, but hopefully it doesn't take that in the, the semi-final on Saturday. Obviously we, we want to try and win the game in, uh, in normal time. Um, I'm sure they're wanting to do the same. Um, they've got good players, a very good goalkeeper as well, so I'm sure they'll be confident if it goes to penalties. Um, all we can do is just give our all and see where that takes us and hopefully we're on the right side of the result on Saturday, fingers crossed. Yeah, and, and Buster's on, on your side, obviously involved at the, the club in the, the semi last time, although in a, a different kind of capacity. I mean, how are you looking ahead to, to Saturday on a, on a personal note for yourself, obviously you've been in the dugout for, for a club semi finals yeah, um, you know what we're like, we like to take that next game focus, so for me it's just a, another game, sort of looking at it tactically, how we can um, exploit their weaknesses, how we can um, build on our, our strength, so it is just another game that, we're, that we want to we wanna try and win, obviously ex it's exciting because it's a semi-final, um, obviously the place is going to be packed out, so that atmosphere will be a little bit better, um, but again it's just another game that we, we want to try and win. Um, and it's just that everyday process. So once that game's done, then I'm back on to focusing on Monday. And um, so it is exciting for the club, but it's just a, it's just another game that I'm focusing on trying to win. Yeah, you mentioned earlier. Obviously, Mike's now added to the the seemingly ever growing injury list as it has been all season. Obviously, Kenton went off in the quarterfinal as well. So he's well actually played in the England C game, got injured in that one yeah. a few days later. But obviously, adding to that, the few lads that are cup tied who've been been playing in the league and, and doing well. So obviously thin on numbers again for the weekend so you know how big of a challenge is it for the boys who are, are being involved but also in a sense I suppose to not get bogged down in the, the possibly negative mindset of all we've got all these lads who are missing it and focusing on the lads who are available can play and can make an impact. Yeah, well, that's all we can do. Focus on the boys who who are available. We're blessed with um, with quality throughout the squad. Um, I don't think Touchwood will ever have another season like this again. With so many injuries and so many people missing through and um, being cup tied or, or whatever it is, I, I generally think we've been so unlucky with that this season. But is it unlucky for the lads are coming in and they're getting the chance and then they're performing? Because you get like a young Ollie who maybe wouldn't have had the opportunity to train with us if we had a full squad comes in he's been absolutely brilliant so he gets an opportunity so for him it's a, it's a good thing that we've had them players missing and um, we've got full belief in the full group so the team that will put out on Saturday will believe we'll win the game the the lads who will be on the bench will believe we'll come on and, and impact the game in a positive way and um, so it's no problem for us that we we have players missing or anything like that we we work with what we've got as always and um, we believe in all the boys we're proud of all the boys all the time and um, they know we back them so they can go on that pitch with full belief um, and yeah, we, we'll have full belief from the sideline as well. Yeah, that's all for me. Oh, that's um, so how much of a, a boost is it having this in front of the home crowd as well? And um, You alluded to it, to it earlier, but even just taking the travel out of it must be a real boost. Yeah, um, I've said it loads of times, we, we love our stadium, we love playing in front of our home fans, we love the community, it's why we do what we do. Um, it's nice not to have the travel because we've had some ridiculous travel previously and then we've got some ridiculous travel coming up so having that that home game does help but it's more for the supporters and um, we understand what Gate said is as a place and what it is as a community and um, to give them a, an occasion like this is is perfect and, and as I say it, uh, it it backs up backs up why we do it when we have when we have days like this and we're able to give the community something to look forward to and to be to be proud of for for them to have a football club who's performing at a at a high level on a big platform so yeah it's it's such a good thing to have it at home. We were, we were buzzing when our name came out first. We said we, we're not bothered who we play as long as it's at home, and we got our wish. So it's up to us now to go out and produce. And James, you know, it's the stuff young lads dream of stepping out into that turf at Wembley. I mean, what would it mean, I suppose, first to the players and then then to the fans to, to, to qualify and make it to the final? Everything. It's that simple. <laughs> like, literally everything. Fantastic, um, and I mean, just just in terms of a club like like Gates said, um, you know, Wembley somewhere you've only reached once in your history. Um, you know, how important is it that that writes in that next chapter and writing your own history as you go along? Yeah, re really important. Um, as I say, 
I'm not trying to think too much about Wembley. I'm just really focused on on Saturday. I always see if you start looking too far ahead, you miss what's right happening. So it's really important that as a coaching staff, as players, as a community, supporters, we enjoy what's happening right now. So we enjoy the excitement. We enjoy what's coming, the semi-final. We enjoy that. We don't think too much about Wembley, but obviously getting there would be would be unbelievable. I think since I've been at the club, if you've done like a Netflix documentary on it, it would be it will be a sellout. Yeah, it would be unbelievable. So we've we've done a lot of things that we can be proud of as a club, um, and this would just be another another thing to add to that, another page in our in the book what we're writing and um, that we're all very proud of, and we want to we want to keep going with it. But to put Wembley in that would be would be something special as well. Yeah. And you're coming into it off the back of some positive results as well. How important is it to, to go into big games like this with that momentum as well? Yeah, it's so important. Um, I think I've said to Jack a few times over the last couple of months, we just want the boys to believe. We know what a good group we've got. We know what good players they are. We know what good boys they are away from the, the playing field as well. We just want them to believe in themselves. Um, and when you when you get wins, it, it does that naturally. It doesn't need coach. It doesn't need meetings all the time to try and reinforce how much we believe in them and how good they are because the wins take care of that and it gives them that, that natural confidence. And that's so important and massive going into going into Saturday and as I say we just want the boys to believe it, enjoy the occasion, work as hard as they possibly can, look after the performance and then the result will take care of itself. And I suppose um, coming up against Barnett fifth in the league, you know, just from the sheer number of goals they score, it, it could be a busy afternoon at, at your end of the pitch at times. Um, what, what kind of challenges are you expecting from them? Another good opposition. Um, I played against them twice this season, I played both home and away. Um, I know they're a very good team. Um, Expect the unexpected with them, um, and that's pretty much the approach I'm going to be taking personally into the game. Um, but I'm looking forward to the challenge and playing against some of the highest ranked team in the competition. And I suppose, finally, for me, what is your message to the people of Gateshead with this fixture, this fixture coming up? Um, you know, I suppose you'll be wanting people to take the positive from it and just take it to the line. Yeah, just bring as much noise as you possibly can. As I say, enjoy the day, it's their day, um, it's their football club. We, we're just here trying to do the best we possibly can for them. So just get the maximum out of it, what they possibly can. Bring as much energy and bring as much noise and don't let anything negative, the same as what we see at the boys. If we concede a goal or if a refereeing decision goes against us or something like that, it shouldn't affect anything. We still need them as loud as they possibly can. Everything positive. We don't need any negativity on the day. We need the boys just to, to feel that energy from them. and. and as I say, they will give everything they possibly can for the club. And as long as they know that and they understand that, anything negative that happens, it doesn't matter because you know they're giving it all and they just need that support after support after support. Thank you. Ian, you mentioned, of course, how tough this season has been with injuries and suspensions, etc. If you were, I know you obviously don't like looking too far into the future, but if you were to want to win at Wembley, would that in any way eclipse the achievements of last season or would they be good in their own right? Um, if we stay up this season, that will eclipse last season. What we've went through this season, um, obviously the players we lost in the summer, the injuries that we've had this season with our recruitment and stuff like that, if we stay in this league this year, this will be way more of an achievement than, than what we achieved last year. As good as last year was, um, staying up in this league will be more of an achievement than last year. If we can put the icing on the cake with a trip to Wembley, then obviously, yeah, it will be, but just staying up will be a bigger achievement than last season. Obviously, one of the teams mentioned uh, the, the, the challenge of Barnett will bring from your point of view and look at the tip of the tactically. How are you going into it? Yeah, we, we know they're a good side. Um, obviously, they are where they are in the league. Um, we went, we've went. we had two good performances against them. If you remember here, we were 2 0 down, but I still felt we were the better side, to be honest. I still I, I backed us to go on and, and get back, and then when we did get back to 2 2, I felt we should have went on and won the game. Um, at their place, they pressed us quite well, to be fair. They, um, sometimes teams will, will drop off, but they didn't. They pressed us, they wanted to get that ball back. They played out a little bit as well, and when we had to press them, it was a lot of uh, a lot of transition in the game. It was a real high-energy game. Um, we got the goal probably against run of play, if I'm being honest. I think they were maybe edged the performance on the day. I thought they were probably a little bit the better side. We worked so hard to stay in the game, and then uh, they scored a, a last-minute goal they've got good centre forwards who can and hurt you at any time so we have to be aware of that all the time but our game plan doesn't change we want that high energy that um, we want to dominate the ball as much as we possibly can we want to hurt them with the ball and we want to hurt them without the ball and when we don't have it we want to get it back as quick as what we possibly can so it's just trying to fine tune our own performance but understanding what, what strengths they have um, and they have a lot obviously got some unbelievable players um, throughout the team so we're going to have to be on our, our 
top of our game to get anything from it. We all know that. We all understand what's ahead of us. Uh, to both of you, obviously, it's a, it's a massive occasion Saturday. How important can the crowd bring and, and the noise that they can bring? Go cool first. Um, it's brilliant to play in front of them fans week in, week out, whether there's 500 of them, whether there's God knows how many thousand. The atmosphere is always there. Um, the Heat Army always brings some form of atmosphere um, and they're brilliant from minute one. But the more we have in numbers, then I think that's going to carry over into the performance and having that roar behind you, um, having the fans sing your name, it can give you just that little bit more of a buzz. And fingers crossed there's plenty there on Saturday, especially with the North East fixtures. Um, <coughs> I think Gateshead's not just a club for Gateshead, I think it is a club for the whole of the North East. When you look at where all the boys are from in this team, it's from, they're from the whole of the North East. So we are a real North East club, so I think if the North East can back us, it's only going to help us. Cheers, that's all. Ian, and just to be from the football pitch, how important is this to, the, to get across the big potential that I'll be watching this? About if Gateshead can get the West League, then it's about the budgets we're up against it this year, what's the achievement that would be? Yeah, I think uh, sometimes from our point of view, that's maybe the frustrating side of things when obviously we understand that people do understand where we are kind of in the pecking order, the budgets that we're going against, what we're having to fight against every single week. Um, the boys do unbelievable to, to, get to, to get us to where we are. We do unbelievable as a club to compete with that. The community should be, sh should be so proud of the boys and um, how hard they work to make sure that we compete to get to a semi-final in this competition with some of the big hitters who who want to go to Wembley as well and who want to try and win obviously Wrexham, Bromley and have been there previously so for us to, to get to a semi-final um, they should be really really proud of their football club for, for getting there um, and as I say it's 90 minutes now it's, it's a one-off it's a, it's, a, it's a cup final in itself really it's a one-off shootout um, and we're going to give everything we possibly can and all that we ask is that the whole community give us everything what they can as well and I'm sure if we do both then we'll get the result.